So good day, my dear students. For today's video, we're going to talk about the Chinese Remainder Theorem. So what is the Chinese Remainder Theorem? It is a theorem which gives a unique solution to simultaneous linear congruences with co-prime moduli. In its basic form, the Chinese Remainder Theorem will determine a number of p that when divided by some given divisors, leaves given remainders. So that is again according to Brilliant Org 2003. So as you can see, sabi po dito, Chinese Remainder Theorem gives unique solution daw po to simultaneous linear congruences. So pag sinabi po natin simultaneous, sunod-sunod, at kapag sinabi naman po natin co-prime, ibig sabihin lang naman po nito is relatively prime. So ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng relatively prime? Relatively prime, ito po yung mga numbers with GCD of 1. So example po nito is 27 or 27 and 5. Bakit po? Ang GCD ng 27 and 5 is just 1. So meaning to say, ang pwede lang makadivide sa kanilang dalawa is 1, which makes this 2 as relatively prime. Furthermore, Chinese Remainder Theorem is also known as one of the jewels of mathematics which is created by Sun Tzu. So the Chinese Remainder Theorem uses the remainders after dividing an unknown number by a succession of smaller numbers such as 3, 5, and 7 in order to calculate the smallest value of the unknown numbers. So ngayon, ang Chinese Remainder Theorem naman po ay ginagamit po sa cryptography. For the Chinese Remainder Theorem, we have here the formula x is congruent to a sub 1 times m sub 1 times the inverse of m, m sub 1 plus a sub 2 times m sub 2 times m sub 2, the inverse of it, plus a sub 3 times m sub 3 times the inverse of m sub 3 mod kung ano po yung product nitong tatlong to. So we have 3 times 5, that is 15, times 7, that is 105. So meaning to say mod 105. Ngayon, ito pong A sub 1, ito lang naman po yung mga nasa unahan. A sub 1 for 1, A sub 2 for 4, and A sub 3 for 6. So rewrite lang po natin here. 1 plus... 4 plus 6 mod 105. So sa mga M's naman po, kailangan nating hanapin yung particular na linear congruence ng X na yun. So for example, dito po sa 1, ang kalinear niya pong congruence is X is congruent to 1 mod 3. Ibig sabihin po nito, ang M sub 1 is equal to the product of the modulo not including itself. So we have here 5 times 7, that is 35. At dito naman po, so 4 po tayo, ibig sabihin, hindi po natin isasama si 5. Si 5. 3 times 7, that is 21. So dito naman po, hindi natin isasama si 7. 3 times 5, that is 15. Now, let's go to the inverses naman po. For the inverses, kailangan lang po natin i-equate siya into 1. Opo, yung mga is down natin, i-convert natin into 1 with the use of m sub 1. So, paano po siya? So, we have here, for example, our m sub 1 is 35 times the inverse of m, m sub 1 is equal to 1 mod 3. Buti na lang po dito sa number 1, 1 po agad siya. So, ibig sabihin, wala po tayong problema. So, we have 35 times, ano po yung multiply natin para po mag, mag-satisfy po siya dito sa congruence na to. Let's try 1 po muna. So, 35 times 1, that is 35, which must be congruent to 1 mod 3. However, 35 divided by 3, 
that will give us a remainder of 2. So, ibig sabihin, 2 is not congruent to 1 mod 3. So, ibig sabihin, hindi po si 1. Ibig sabihin, try po natin si 2. So, trying number 2, we have here 35 times 2 is congruent to 1 mod 3. So, that will give us 70 congruent to 1 mod 3. So, 70 divided by 3, that will give us a remainder of 1. So, perfect. So, we have here 1 mod 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang kakailanganin natin is si 2, hindi po si 1. Kasi, pinag-prove lang po natin na using 2, 1 po magiging sagot. So, ito po yung isulat natin dito, 2. Now, let's proceed to our next. So, we have here 21 times m sub 2, the inverse of it, is congruent to 1 mod 5. So, kung makikita nyo po dito, 4 po siya dati. Ngayon po, kailangan 1 po siya para makuha natin yung inverse. So, 21 times, try po muna natin ang 1, congruent to 1 mod 5. So, that will give us 21 congruent to 1 mod 5. 21 divided by 5, that is 1. So, ibig sabihin, 1 mod 5 satisfies the congruence. So, ibig sabihin, ang ilalagay po natin dito is ito naman po. So, 1. So, for our last inverse, we have here 15 times m sub 3. The inverse of it is congruent to 1 mod 7. So, first things first, 1 po muna tayo. Try natin si 1, 1 mod 7. That is 15, the congruence of 1 mod 7. So, 15 divided by 7, indeed, that will give us a remainder of 1. So, ibig sabihin, 1 po is the answer. So, correct po siya. So, ilalagay din po natin dito is 1. It now, let's simplify. So, x is congruent to 1 times 35 times 2, that will give us 70, plus 4 times 21, that will give us 4 times 21, that will give us 84, times 1, that will give us 84 again. So we have here 84, plus 6 times 15, times 1, that will give us 90. mod 105. So, 70 plus 84 plus 90, that will give us 244. So, x is congruent to 244 mod 105. Now, 244 divided by 105, that will give us the remainder of 34. So, x is congruent to 34. This will be our answer. For example, number 2, we have here, again, the formula x is congruent to a sub 1 times m sub 1 times the inverse of m sub 1 plus a sub 2 times m sub 2 times the inverse of m sub 2 plus a sub 3 times m sub 3 times the inverse of of m sub 3 mod so 8 times 3 that is 24 times 7 that is 168 168 so first things first kailangan natin i-substitute po lahat ng value ni a so we have here 2 3 And 5. Ngayon, kailangan na po natin hanapin ang mga M's. So, not included, 2 mod 3, that is 8 times 7, that is 56. So, I'll write here 56. And hindi daw po kasama si 8, that is 7 times 3, that is 21. So, lalagay po natin dito, 21. 
and di daw po kasama si 7 so 3 times 8 that is 24 so we'll write here 24 now it's time for us to calculate for the inverses so first for the inverse of the first modulo or the linear congruence so we have here 56 times the inverse of it is equal to or is congruent to 1 mod 3. So 56 times 1, 1 mod 3, 56, 56 divided by 3, that will give us 2. So 2 is not congruent to 1 mod 3. So let's try here 2. 2, 56 times 2, that is 112, is congruent to 1 mod 3. 112 divided by 3, that will give us a remainder of 1. So that is congruent na po agad. So ang answer po natin is 2. Now for our next pong inverse, we have your 21 times the inverse of m sub 2. Is congruent to 1 mod 8. So we have your 21 times 1 is congruent to 1 mod 8. So 21 divided by 8, that will give us 5. 5 is not congruent to 1 mod 8. So let's have, so 2, that will give us 42, should be congruent to 1 mod 8. So 42 divided by 8, that will give us 2. So it's not natin C5. So that will give us 105 1 mod 8. So 105 divided by 8. So that will give us 1. So ibig sabihin 5 is what we are looking for. Now to find for the value of the inverse of M3. So we have here 24 times the inverse of M3 is congruent to 1 mod 7. So we have, we have here 24 times 1 is congruent to 1 mod 7. 24 divided by 7, that will give us 3. So it's not congruent. 24 times 5. So 24 times 5, that will give us 120 divided by 7. That will give us 1. So perfect. So that is 120. 1 mod 7, 120 divided by 7, that is 1, equal to 1 mod 7. So, ibig sabihin, ang hinahanap po natin is 5. So, now let's simplify. So, we have here, x is congruent to 2 times 56, that is 112 times 2, that, we, that is 224. Plus 3 times 21, that is 63 times 5, that is 315. Plus 5 times 24 times 5, that is 600. Mod 168. So X must be congruent to 600 plus 224 plus 315. That is 1,139 mod 168. So X must be congruent to divided by, so 1,139 divided by 168, that will give us 131 mod 168. So ang value po natin ng X is 131. So what if we have this problem? So, meron na pong mga katabi si x. So, first, kailangan po muna nating isimplify itong dalawang to in a form of x is congruent to a mod b. So, we have here 8x is congruent to 27 mod 5. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan po natin itong a continuous addition or subtraction. But in my case, I want it to be continuous addition. So we have here, 8x is congruent to 27 plus 5, that is 32. 
mod 5. So divide both sides by 8. So that will give us x is congruent to 4 mod 5. So now we have 5x is congruent to 3 mod 7. So that will give us 5x is congruent to so, katulad din po dati, kailangan natin i-continuous addition or subtraction. But in this case, mas convenient ni add because 3 plus 7, that is 10, mod 7. So, divide both sides by 5. That will give us x is congruent to 2 mod 7. So now, since we already have the simplified form, we can now have the equation. So since 2 naman na po siya, ibig sabihin, dalawa na lang po na A sub 1 and A sub 2 and M sub 1 and M sub 2. So we have our new equation as X is congruent to the quantity A sub 1 times M sub 1 times the inverse of M sub 1 plus A sub 2 times M sub 2 times the inverse of M sub 2 mod so, 5 times 7, that is 35. So, that will give us x is equal to, what is our a sub 1? That is 4. So, we have here 4 times m sub 1. So, hindi daw po kasama si x mod 5. So, ibig sabihin that is 7 only. So, we have here 7 times the inverse of m sub 1 plus what is our a sub 2? That is 2. Then, hindi daw po kasama si mod 7. So, that is 5 times the inverse of m sub 1 mod 35. So, now let's solve for the inverses. So, for the inverses, we have here 7 times the inverse of m sub 1 is congruent or must be congruent to 1 mod 5. So we have here 7 times 1 is congruent to 1 mod 5, which is not true because 7 divided by 5, that is 2, which is not congruent to 1 mod 5. So ibig sabihin, let's change that. Let's have 3 because 7 times 3, that is 21, congruent to 1 mod 5. Indeed, 27 or 21. Divided by 5, that is 1, which is also congruent to 1 mod 5. So that is true. So ang hinahanap po natin is si 3. So that will give us here 3. So for our mod, or the inverse of M2, we have here 5 times M2, or the inverse of M2, is congruent to 1 mod 7. So we have we have here 5 10. Why 10? Because 1 mod 7 50 divided by 7 that is 49. So ibig sabihin may matitirang 1 po dito which is congruent to 1 mod 7. So we have here 10. Ang ilalagay po natin dito is 10. So, 4 times 7 times 3, that will give us 84. So, 84 plus 2 times 5 times 10, that will give us 100 mod 35. So, x 184 mod 35, that will give us 184 divided by 35, that is 9. 9 mod 35. So our value of x is 9. That's it for today, my dear students. If you still have questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. If you find this video helpful to your number theory subject, please like and subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you next time. Bye!